And I uh, got a comment from my mother-in-law about these uh, pants that I'm wearing. Uh, they uh, they're beyond washing. They're my they're my skinning pants, and uh, I've I've washed them uh, well quite often. But uh, you know the grease from the beavers and all the other animals is, is embedded so uh, so ingrained. It's uh, there ain't no hope. They ain't coming back to the way they were. That's for sure. But anyway, like I said, just leave a tiny bit of fat. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. So maybe I'll turn the Hammer a little bit this way. And, uh, yeah. And like I said, once you get the the legs out, you can uh, <coughs> concentrate with the with the beaver knife um, just to. Uh, like I said, just uh, you can actually get uh, fairly close to the hide without cutting it if you if you're careful. So of course, it's important to have a, a sharp knife. A dull one ain't gonna give you the same. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not uh, much of a sharpener with steel. I uh, <laughs> I use a uh, work sharp system. I know it takes a little bit more of uh, the metal off, but uh, whatever. Knives aren't that expensive unless you buy an expensive one, I guess. So, but uh, those twenty dollar beaver knives, there, you know, I have a uh, quite a few of them and uh, worn a few out over the years, but. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully this is all in the frame. I don't know, but uh, we shall see. So got a little bit too close there, but not too bad. But. Uh, Well, I hope everybody has a, a good season. Hope uh, you guys get out there, be safe. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes that ice is thin, sometimes uh, stuff isn't frozen properly. I don't know, just be safe. Always be mindful of where you are, where you're going, what you're doing. So, we want to live to, to trap another season. So. Those uh, magnetic knife holders work good until you're a little bit too crazy on them. So basically, uh, like I said in the other video, I'll scan up into the backbone of this side and uh, I'll flip it over and do the other side. And uh, that's that. We have, a, we have a pelt that's fairly clean. Um, like I said, some guys use the cradles. I've uh, kind of tried one. I made a kind of a rough one, and uh, I don't know. It's uh, it wasn't too bad, I guess. But uh, I uh, I still prefer the knee. Just uh, thing is, like I, I keep a, a cloth on my knee. Make sure there's no creases or whatever in the in the cloth that you have on your knee, because it's going to give you a little bit of uh, different shape and it might uh, cut into the pelt. There's so always a one uh, area right here towards the back where uh, it's kind of the, the meat part is a little thinner and uh, a little harder to get off, but uh, that's okay. You just gotta get a little closer. So, oh, there's, some, there's a little over exuberance. Oh well too late now I guess but like I said I'm going a little faster than I usually would just for the, the sake of time and what have you so that's the way it goes that normally doesn't happen <laughs> 
And with your knee, you can get, uh, you know, really, you know, not this close, hopefully, to uh, <laughs> the high or the, the fur, but uh, you can take quite a bit of the fat off. And uh, yeah, like I said, just uh, pretty much do up to the backbone. Here's that lighter, thinner membrane. Like, if anybody's skinned a beaver, they know what that's all about. It's kind of a little bit of a pain, but it's uh, all right. This heavier stuff's much easier to, to work with and, and do. So, yeah, I'm pretty much at the backbone here. We'll just. Uh, Finish up a little bit, do a little bit around the head, and uh, that'll be it. We'll uh, kind of have a uh, an idea of how I do it. So, um, I'm used to on the other side. It's pretty much the same, just just the opposite side. So, anyway, and uh, like I said, I like uh, using a different knife for around the head. Something that's uh, I don't normally skin the sides with because you're uh, touching a little more bone and stuff. So I use these uh, pads actually. I used to always use newspaper and uh, hey, everything sticks to the newspaper, which is uh, <laughs> kind of a pain itself too. So I uh, switch these pads and they absorb the blood good, keep the area fairly clean, and uh, that's a good thing. Right, right at the ear here, so there we go. And uh, just in the back of the neck here, sometimes you once you see where the the trap mark is, you know where you're kind of at. So oh, pretty good catches on these beavers this year. Uh, nice neck shots, uh, take them out quickly. I, uh, like I said, I usually uh, like leaving the, uh, the eyes in this part to last pretty much just because uh, it bleeds a little bit. Sometimes there's some arteries or veins that are close by here and uh, even the eye bleeds sometimes depending on where the animal was uh, caught. So and There you have it. Like I said, you don't have to worry about too much because you're going to cut these lips off anyway. And uh, like I said here, there's a... Uh, a little bit contusion where the trap hit, I guess, so it was bleeding a bit, but that's it. So, um, in a nutshell, that's skin and a beaver. Hope I, uh, hope everybody got a good idea of how I do it, and uh, we'll uh, flip them over and uh, do the other side. So, everybody, have a good night. Uh, we'll uh, we'll talk at you later, and uh, I failed to say this in a few of my last videos, but. Life is better in the mountain, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. Have yourselves a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, everybody. Um, <clears throat> just uh, wanted to show uh, you guys something. Uh, kind of a rookie mistake, but uh, left uh, this beaver outside for the night, and uh, Mr. Skunk got into his uh, head. Of course, they go for uh, whatever opening they can get to, but... Uh, I don't think it's really going to uh, hurt the, uh, the fur too much, just uh, kind of sloppy to, uh, to deal with when you're skinning, whatever. So anyway, uh, got a couple done here and uh, got one kind of paler one here and uh, one darker one. And uh, Washington's uh, winning 7-2, uh, to I guess, game 6, so it looks like there's going to be a game 7 here. Um, Drying beaver casters. I uh, I hang mine up just on a little uh, piece of copper here, kind of thing. Um, I know uh, I'm uh, I've been guilty of it in the past as well, but uh, drying them too much, uh, don't do it. Um, wait till they get hard and uh, then freeze them. Um, I know uh, you dry them too too much and you're going to lose a lot of weight from them. And uh, whenever they get kind of hard, uh, these two are fresh, of course, and these are getting getting kind of close. I, uh, I I flip them actually, and I uh, make sure they're split apart and they're not sticking together, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, do that, and uh, you're gonna get uh, more uh, money for them. Just uh, don't over dry them. 
and uh, put them in the freezer and uh, when they're ready to ship take them out and uh, let them sit out for a day or two before you uh, ship them and uh, they'll dry up again and uh, you'll be good to go so I just wanted to show show you guys that and uh, whatever you do put your uh, put your uh, stuff in a shed or somewhere and get it away from the outside but uh, anyway Mr. Skunk had a little bit of a meal but I uh, ain't gonna get in a, another one this year so anyway you guys take care we'll uh, talk to you soon